great Oz, you ungrateful creatures. Oh, the great Oz has spoken. Oh, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. I know what you're thinking. What's a nice girl like me doing in a room full of ego-driven, sociopathic, mega-motivational gurus with $4,000 suits, gold-plated zippers that never stay up, and million-dollar smiles that don't fool me one bit? Believe me, if Franklin S. Walcott hadn't died and left me this envelope with one last request, I wouldn't be within a million hundred miles of these guys. You may not have heard of Frank Walcott, most people these days haven't. But I'm sure you've heard of the guys gathered here today. Frank called them his boys. He brought each one of them into the business of motivational speaking. Mm -hmm. Last time I saw Frank, he asked me to unseal this envelope when the time was right and read it to him. What could I do? I couldn't say no. Besides, I didn't know he was going to die and leave me to plan his wake as well. Maybe it's Frank's last will and testament. I don't know. I swore off working with any of Frank's boys a long time ago. My mama used to say, never say never. I don't know about you, but the only thing I hate more than mama being right is me being wrong. And the older I get, the more and more that seems to happen. In this case, she was right again. And I'm back in the room with my former meal tickets. It was about Two years ago, I decided I'd rather go hungry than be anywhere near these bozos. And Frank knew it. Yes, sir, the only reason I'm here is Frank's dead and this damn envelope. Oh, and maybe there's one more reason I'm here. I'm here to warn you. (laughs) 